Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in, Alessandro the Crypto here, I hope you're doing all fine. Let's start with today's TA, Bitcoin finally broke out to the downside. If you were watching my videos, you would have known that I was expecting this breakout to the downside. It happened a bit surprisingly because it happened yesterday on a Sunday and also during the night we had this big dump here. If you followed my last videos, you would know that I was in a short position and I closed my short yesterday. I closed it because on Friday we closed the CMEs at $9,200 and I was expecting the price to head towards these price levels again latest this morning but the opposite happened we continued to dump here and currently the previous support at around nine thousand dollar is now the new resistance so what is happening right now is that we have a future gap above us to $9,200 and also we have now this new $9,000 resistance. So there is a high chance that before we go up to fill this gap we first gonna see this play out of this breakout to the downside where the target is at $8,000 and from there maybe we are gonna bounce back up to have a retest of the new resistance and also close this gap and then we have to see what will happen. But it's also possible that we will not hold at 8,000 and we will continue to drop towards the second bearish target of $6,000. But this is what we have to see once we're gonna reach this 8K and if 8K is gonna hold or not. But currently it looks like that we're breaking out. We tested already here the new resistance and in theory we should now drop to the downside. But be very careful if you're trading right now guys because we have this gap here at 9,200. So the price could come up here to close this gap anytime soon. And because we had now this break out from this uh, pattern that we were in in the last couple of uh, weeks in theory now we are shifted to the downside and we should try to short the rallies and not long it of course I'm still looking for a perfect long position for the long time frame but that one I will open soonest as we retest the 8k not before so currently I look for a short position but the fact that we have this gap at 9200 makes me believe that we could have a wick or maybe another retest here of this new resistance at around 9000 to 9200 dollar before we see the big plunge to the downside and that's why maybe you shouldn't stress for a trade right now if you're already in a short then you should be good but in case that you still look for a new short position like me over on Bybit maybe wait here for a perfect entry and also maybe we wait till we're gonna close this CME gap at 9200 because here in the one hour you can see that currently the 20 moving average is giving us resistance is pressing the price down stochastic is coming up and down currently we are in a neutral territory RSI is trading below the 50 level here in the one hour it still look very bearish also here the Bollinger Band we just retraced back into the middle area and got rejected MACD also shifted to the downside so in the one hour I'm expecting still some more pushes to the downside and also if we zoom out a little bit you can see that we bounced here perfectly at 8620 that is the first fib line here based on the top that we had here of ten thousand dollars so currently i'm expecting to have a, a kind of a bounce here to maybe retest the new resistance and then have the final plunge if we're gonna lose here this eight thousand six hundred dollar i think that would trigger the next waterfall towards uh, seven thousand seven hundred to eight thousand dollar where also the 200 daily moving average is lining up and we can go over to the four hour time frame because here also you can see that currently we are trading below the 20 moving average which is at $9,060 so also here I think we could see a retest of this uh, moving average before a final plunge here we closed also below the 200 moving average in the 4 hour which is very bearish stochastic and RSI are oversold currently so we could see any time a bounce towards 9k or even 9200 to close the gap and also test one of these new resistances so in case that you look for a short then maybe wait for such a test and here in the Bollinger Band you can also see that we're trading right at the bottom MACD is shifted to the downside so here in the short time frames also it turned back into bear mode as I was expecting it in the last couple of 
videos and also here in the daily time frame you can see that we close below the 20 daily moving average so also here in theory now here this 20 daily moving average at 9060 should be the new resistance only once we can close again above this moving average we should be again shifted to the upside but currently it really looks like that we are now on the way towards the 200 daily here at eight thousand dollar RSI is right at the 50 stochastic oversold so I was expecting here the bulls to show off here and see a big bounce here in the stochastic and RSI to the upside but it didn't happen here we crashed down now and if we go over to the Bollinger band in the daily you can also see that currently the middle area is giving us resistance we got rejected and now we're trading towards the bottom here of $8,500 which should be the next support area and also MACD is now shifted to the downside so all in all I think we should start to sell the rallies and short the rallies here at least till we're gonna reach one of the two bearish targets that we have the first one is 8000 and the second one is 6000 200 dollar and at 6200 dollar i have all my fiat put in there with buy orders because i think this will be the last time that we will see bitcoin so cheap and if we go over to the weekly also you can see that the first time now we closed a big red candle below the 50 weekly moving average and now the 20 weekly is at $8,200 so this week we should stay above the 20 weekly otherwise there could be a big waterfall towards the 200 weekly down here at around $6,000 where also the 0.618 fib line is our second bearish target here of $6,200 dollar stochastic has now a bearish cross so also here it looks like that the momentum is shifting to the downside rsi is still at the 50 let's see if we can keep here at least the rsi above the 50 because in case that we will drop again below the 15 rsi we could easily see prices again towards six thousand dollar all right guys and with that said i'm gonna wrap it up for now if you like the content you know what to do make also sure to subscribe to the channel we do daily ta videos and also you can participate to the giveaway that i do with every 500 subscriber also make sure to join the discord trading chat is completely for free everyone is welcome and i'm doing the live streams over on uh, twitch so make also sure to join the twitch channel and if you also want to trade uh, on uh, bybit femex prime xpt and bityard with leverage so here here you can trade Bitcoin and other assets, especially the altcoins with leverage, then you have to use one of these four exchanges. Those are the best ones. And with my links, you can get some sign up bonuses and also some rewards. So check them out. You just need an email to register. No need for KYC, nothing. So thank you very much, guys, for your support. And we see us all in the next one. Bye.